Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman. Fan me, subscribe to me on YouTube, youtube.com slash DanTheWolfman1. Gonna show you that tricky arm lock again from side mount. And then I picked up a new entry to it without your arm totally entangled at Go-Cars. One of the guys, uh, young fighters over there at Go-Cars, um, showed me a way to do it from North South, which is pretty cool, so I'm gonna pass it along. Okay, so from, north, uh, from side mount, Anytime you're here on the guy and he scoots his hips out to elbow escape, as I showed in the other video, you can you can get this entangled up. So screw the bucket, screw the other side. You can do that from here. Here, I control his hip there. I control his leg here with my hook, and then I have a Udi Garami bent entangled arm lock, like a figure four paintbrush, right there on his elbow and shoulder. Okay. So if he's scooting away, you can get that. Can also just sometimes feel it when his arm's deep and he starts to pull this arm out. Right? Like it's arm around me and then he starts to pull his right arm out. Start, start getting, reclaiming that arm. I'm not trying to get it back this way. Okay. He's starting to reclaim that arm, you just go to it. Okay? Another way, my more mean style, catch wrestling style, is to make the guy move. Number one, I'm always going to be heavy on the air with my hips. I'm going to be controlling them, I'm going to be riding them. My knees aren't going to be on the ground at all times. Okay, I'm going to be controlling them with body weight. And then if I want them to move, go ahead grab me a little bit. Okay, if I want them to move, I take my knee up to his belly, and I slide it on his fat and pinch his fat with my knee. And that's going to make him hip in, this way. Okay, so we're here, and then I pinch him. I pinch him with his knee, and make him hip in. And there's my lock. Okay, so that's by taking your, that's using pinching, which is gravity. Using your knee or pitching. So guys, this is part of combatives and part of MMA. It should be part of MMA. It's stuff you can get away with, no one's gonna see. That you should be in there. If you want a guy to move away from you to take his back and choke him, when you're in here, you could just be controlling him. You can grab him with and pull him this way. Let's say I wanted to go to a trap. Here, I'd get there by taking him and pinching him. So this is less of a pinching, then I'm here, then I'm here. Then I'm working in here, then I'm compressing the neck, and I'm doing all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm just talking about moving the guy with pinching. Now, for tricky arm lock from north-south, the guy is usually hugging you because he's defending strikes and stopping you from getting them out and all that. So you're working your north-south choke. Um, you could jump, leapfrog to your double knee bar, Russian cowboy. Look up the Russian cowboy two on two knee bar video I have. Set that one up with north-south choke. When you have problems with the north-south choke, you can go to that double knee bar, Russian cowboy. Or you can go to this tricky arm lock now. Actually, rotate this way a little bit. Stay there. Okay, so he hooks around me. I'm usually heavy on his hips anyway. I'm shoving my hip in his face and making life uncomfortable for him. My elbows are in here. If it was MMA, I could be elbow striking him here, punching him in the quad with the four knuckle, learning how to hit deep on the ground. The system of punches I teach guys is really important in MMA because you don't always have um, the space to load up on your punches. Anyway, hug around me a little bit. You don't gotta go so hard. He goes here, I sit out, like reverse case of Gatami. Here, I'm close tight to him. Number one, I keep sliding back, put my foot over as before to block his hip. The other one under with the foot, and then I got the elbow. His defense might be to try and come on top. So I'm gonna push his neck away, and I'm lifting the elbow for the submission. I can just hook inside with my wrist, I can hook it with my palm, and I push his head away. See, it's nasty when I push away right here. So I push away, and I stretch this guy. There's the submission. Now try and turn in and come up with me. I control him, sorry, I control him by pushing out. In that case, to get the submission for pressure, I push out this way with my forearm. If he starts to come up, I can turn my elbow down, or my wrist down, and go to his throat. So I'm in here, and you're I'm in here, try and stack into me, come in. I'm gonna push out here as I got the submission. Now don't defend with your hand, just turn to me, so I can show. Go, keep coming, keep coming. I can blade, should I choke him with my blade on his throat. Okay, so go to another another angle and let's see this again. Gotta grab the homie. Okay, I'm gonna hook that elbow and do a, ver a reverse sit-out position, or a reverse case, sort of. Okay, so I'm in more south, I sit out. Then quickly I come down with this elbow to the side of his neck as I hop over and block the hip, hook the leg, and I'm ready for the submission. I hook, 
I lift that Udi Garani and I push out with my arm and I can block him here with pressure as if he's trying to come in. He might end up in a scramble if the guy's really tough, really good. But that's going to help stop him from bridging in and coming in for the stack in because he can always push out and frame your arm down. Okay, I can always do this. And like put a hard forearm in his throat and wrist bone in his throat. He isn't going to like that very much. Okay, one more time. Maybe get a different angle on it. Okay, so we're here, fighting here again. You can elbow, you can hit the legs, guys. There's lots of stuff you can do if it was MMA. I'm gonna hook that elbow, sit out, here, hook over, and here for the submission. Okay, I'm gonna faster this time. Here, I'm in here. Pride rules are gone, unless it's some cool new Asian MMA. There are some words out there. So I can't name in the head anymore, Mark Coleman style. That's too bad, so I gotta submit the guy. And rounds ending, whatever, go for the submission. I'm gonna go here. Here's my submission. You see you got come up on the elbow, bend your I cup it, and I push out to stretch that arm and the shoulder as I lift the elbow. Okay, it'd be like this, but I don't use my right hand because he turned to me and, and get away. So I just use the left hand, the left wrist. And it's basically the bent Rudy Garami. Arm like this way, paintbrush. It's the same as an Americana paintbrush. Okay, guys, so there's a very tricky way. Thanks to Gene LaBelle and Gokar and all the guys over there. And uh, the fight, fighter Ara that showed it to me. And um, hope you like these tricky setups. Most guys don't know them, so write to me, subscribe to my YouTube page, and let me know what's going on. Thanks, guys.